A blessed day to everyone. I hope you and your family are all safe from any sickness related to the pandemic. My name is Engineer Gilbert Navalero, and I'm going to share with you today a holistic performance review of the very first automation and prototype in sorting fresh pili fruits in the Philippines. Now let me introduce our study entitled Automated Pili Fruit Sorting Device Using Linear Support Vector Machine Image Classification Model. Before we dive into the meat of our discussion, let me share the goals that we want to achieve at the end of the presentation. First is have a quick discourse about the background and the problems found from the synthesis of the related literatures. Second is to provide a primary purpose and novelty of the proposed sorting device. Third is to discuss in detail the methodology implemented in materializing the system. Fourth is report the results achieved after using the chosen sorting mechanism. And finally, to provide a conclusion and future endeavors to improve the performance of the proposed system. Now let's kick off the discussion with the background and the problem of the research. So Bicol is famous because it is one of the regions in Southeast Asia where the indigenous pili trees are growing. One of the precious products from the pili tree is the pili fruit. The pili fruit is green when young and turns into dim purple or black when ready for harvest. The pulp and the nut of the mature pili fruits are processed to make oil. Locals eat the pulp as vegetable and the nut as dessert. So due to the numerous products generated from the pili fruit, sorting them according to maturity is one of the laborious tasks the harvesters face. Sorting may take two to three seconds per pili fruit, and it also depends on the sorting skill of the person doing the task. So let's move on to the next top of our presentation, and that is the primary purpose and novelty of the research. The study's primary purpose is to create an automated device that can sort harvested pili fruits according to their maturity. The specific objectives are, First, harness the properties of the pili pulp and sort them based on the ripeness using machine learning. Second is to provide the result of the linear support vector machine's performance, accuracy, and learning rate. Third is disclose the sorting rate of the device to gauge if it is comparable to the speed of manual sorting. And finally, to assess the cost of the device if small speedy farmers can consider it for procurement. So heading on to our third stop where we will discuss in detail the research design and methodology implemented in materializing the system. So here's the conceptual framework of the device. The system's inputs were fresh pili fruits and they are snapshots from the detection platform. The process stage contains the segmented images using morphological structuring element method, the comparison of the mean and standard deviation of the segmented images with the validation database, the classification result using the LSVM algorithm and the initialization of the triggers of the actuation devices. So the output of the system was the sorted ripe and unripe pili fruits. The study has collected 200 images of fresh pili fruits under uniform distance using a 320 by 240 pixels digital camera. Proper lighting was secured using two LED lamps to eliminate unnecessary shadows in the region of interest. LSVM was the algorithm used to find the suitable learning boundary while maximizing the margin between the closest learning samples corresponding to the Pili classes. The light conveyor belt system was responsible for transporting the Pili fruits from the reservoir to the detection platform until they reach the sorting chute. Arduino Uno was used to interface the system's output device, which is the servo motor, that is responsible of swinging the sorting chute to its designated position. And the automatic pili feeder was used to load pili fruits to the conveyor belt one at a time with five seconds delay. So for us to further visualize the process flow, let me show a demonstration on how each section of the device works. The sorting process begins from the pili reservoir linked to the automatic pili feeder where the harvest pili fruits are loaded. The individual dropping of the pili fruit is controlled by the cycle relay timer and the roller setup. A 12 volt motor control was connected in series so that strong spins will be prohibited. The camera is connected to a computer that runs MATLAB codes to determine the mean and standard deviation of the segmented images and load them to a database. The LSVM implemented in MATLAB determines the boundary so that for every test image, the model compares its parameters to the Pili validation database. 
The Arduino Uno is responsible of sending signals to the servo motor to behave based on the classification results. So if the classification outcome resulted in a right PLE, the servo motor's position would change to 0.25 angle. Otherwise, the angle changes to 0.6. Finally, the designated round plastic containers for the ripe and unripe PLE used for sorting were placed at the end of the conveyor line to separate the classified ripe and unripe PLE fruits. The study made use of the equation such as TPR, or the true positive rate, which is the percentage of the correct classification CC. The FNR, or false negative rate, is the percentage of the misclassification MC from the total samples TS. OVA is the overall validation accuracy, which is the ratio of the combined number of correct classification and the combined total samples. So we're done with the presentation of the methods. Now we will move on to the discussion of the results and findings. So these were the outputs using morphological structuring element, where you can see the segmented pili fruits images exhibited a huge difference. 117 of the images for training were ripe pili fruits, and 83 were unripe and almost ripe pili. The validation accuracy of the model was evaluated using the TPR and FNR, and using the equations mentioned, here are the computed performance rates of the system. Nine out of 200 samples were misclassified during validation, having an average training accuracy of 95.5%. The issue was due to the property of the pulp of almost ripe pili, which has nearly parametric values as with the ripe pili fruits. So additionally, it took 6.19 seconds to complete the training validation. Although the model's validation accuracy was 95.5%, the overall real-time test accuracy obtained was still great at 98%, with only one misclassification out of 50 PLE samples. So with a classification rate of roughly five seconds, including the travel time of the PLE fruit on the conveyor and the sliding chute, the system can classify approximately 720 PLE fruits in one hour. Regarding the economical aspect, an amount of 4,544 or 88.27 converted to US dollars was spent to create the prototype of the proposed device. And our last stop of the discussion is the presentation of the conclusions, recommendations for future endeavors of the proposed system. So the method to harness the properties of the pili pulp to sort them based on ripeness was performed using combination of multiple devices. Using MATLAB version R2021A software, LSVM served as the backbone for categorizing the ripe and unripe pili fruits. The LSVM showed an exemplar performance in classifying the maturity of the pili fruits. The sorting rate of the device is approximately five seconds per pili fruit, and the sorting rate of the proposed system is a bit lower than the manual sorting rate. However, this automation will benefit the pili growers as they will no longer need to dedicate extra effort or hire pili sorters in doing so. The system's performance can be enhanced using more sophisticated detection components such as the digital camera. Other classification models can also be reviewed to compare LSVM regarding the validation accuracy and processing time involving multiple detections as part of the future endeavors. So based on the cost assessment, the automated pili fruit sorting device is still reasonably priced compared to the existing small scale fruit sorting machines in the market. It's ranging from 50,000 to 300,000 pesos. The largest expenditure was from the conveyor belt system, and thus it can be procured as a whole and involved for wide range production, which would lessen the overall cost. Ultimately, the device is also applicable to sort fruits with similar properties as the pili, since the algorithm only evaluates and classifies the maturity utilizing the mean and starting deviation of the segmented images of the pili pulp. So before I end the presentation, let me show you a quick video clip on how the real-time performance test was So thank you so much for listening and I hope I was able to deliver all the enumerated objectives at the beginning of the discussion. This is the end of my presentation and wishing everyone a great conference experience today.
Goodbye.